Kenya has tall buildings. Very, very, yeah. very nice tall buildings. I mean, yeah, it's it's quite interesting. We have tall buildings in Ghana, but like Kenya has a lot. And, and driving around yesterday, I I felt Kenya has this is also really developed and yeah, very developed. I, I mean, I saw some part of it that I could even compare to um, US, like part of the states or even London. Yeah, yeah that's true. Like the the. The very, landscapes very nice. and 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 it, it doesn't feel so much different um, from from Thailand and 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 and, and some parts of London. I don't know if that. we can call this like one of the most developed African countries. Okay, so um, my name is Samuel um, Apia Chan, and I'm I'm Emmanuel Apia Chan, and together we are called Twins Dombeg, and we have a brand called Swag of Africa. Tell us about your early childhood and yeah, your early childhood. Well, um, we were born in Ghana, um, in Ashanti region. It's, it's, in Ghana, we have 16 regions, and we come from, um, we were born in Kumase, a, a town called Kumase, and that's where we grew up. I um, have three sisters, and, and um, we the twins, and we. We, we didn't really come from a, a wealthy home. Um, so growing up was um, difficult. We saw all the challenges our parents went through to give us very good education. And I think it's part of the reason why we, we work so hard um, to get to wherever we want to get to. Okay. Um, Education-wise? Um, we went to KNUST, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Went to the daycare, went to the primary, went to the GSS, then went to the SHS, then went to the university as well. Which is one of the universities that was named after the first president of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah, um, one of the best universities in Ghana. So we studied so hard to make it to uni because we felt that if you want to be really successful in life, you still need um, very good education so that wherever you find yourself, you'll be able to you know, have a nice or decent conversation with anybody. Yeah, so I'm a landscape architect by profession and, mm. and post-harvest technologist, um, it's a specialization in agriculture. Um, the fact that you didn't go to university to study photography, how did you come? Uh, when did your love for photography begin? Well, um, we featured or we worked on a Hollywood movie um, it was called The Cursed Ones. It featured um, Hollywood actors like Jimmy Jean Lewis and Oris Herrero, who, um, when we were growing up, he did a movie called Sinbad. Adventures um, of Sinbad. Adventures of Sinbad. So um, they came to Ghana to shoot a movie for about two months, and we got the opportunity to be PA or assistant to the director and the producer. So um, when we were on set, we were always asking questions and um, the director is a renowned cinematographer so um, whilst we're on set every time we just kept on asking um, why he's shooting like this while he's doing this and he always gave us um, tips on um, rules in cinematography so um, that's the first education we had on photography so after the movie set we used the money that we got to buy a camera which wasn't enough yeah. so the hollywood actor um ori severo um paid about 70 percent of the um, first camera for us and and that's how we started photography so after after getting a camera which was your first gig well we didn't really still understand photography so we went around um, talking to other photographers and friends um, but nobody was really paying attention to us um, so we s decided to learn on our own so we resorted in YouTube and all that and our first um, official breakthrough photo shoot was with one artist from Ghana called Becca um, which I, rem I remember it was somewhere 2015 yeah. um, March um, and it was and it got around 5th March yeah around 5th March it got featured in a newspaper they needed some photos of her for a newspaper pu um, publication and that was our first ever um, breakthrough um, work and 
Next, we saw our, our pictures in uh, front cover page of newspaper, and and also what also catapulted um, our photography is is when we got the chance to work with the um, wife of the vice president of Ghana. Um, we we had to give them a proposal that they were in opposition. The current president um, was in opposition, and they were now fighting to um, to come to power. So we we suggested that we could do all that we do um, for them, and and it's first um, photo shoot with the with the wife of the vice president, and those pictures went viral and. And everybody noticed our photography skills, and that's how um, everything escalated for us. Uh, okay, um, you said when you started, uh, you were using YouTube and all that. Yeah. So, how has social media helped uh, your career growth? Well, for social media, I think the best place for photographers to showcase their work is um, social media especially Instagram as a platform. So um, we created, first of all, he created a social media for us called Twins.Bex. So that was the first social media we created. And after that social media, we just kept on posting most of our works there. And we started getting huge following on social media. And one of the evidence or evidence that we got by using social media is being identified anywhere that we went. So whenever you do a work and you post, you start getting feedback. So that was the most, that's one of the most positive things about social media, getting feedback from wherever you go. And even in Kenya, we thought very few people knew us, but when we came for the fashion events, some of the models saw us and they're like, I love your and we like, even have yeah. Kenyan photographers messaging us to do collaborations with us. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's um, social media is evident in, in, in our success because anywhere in the world we go, we get people reaching out to us. Um, I remember one day I was working on the streets of London and um, somebody just walked to me, hi, Twins don't beg, I'm a big fan. And I was like, wow even as far as thailand and and it, it's 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 like social media it has made the world such a small place so if you're creative the best place to um to to showcase. to showcase your work is on social media and you'll be surprised with the kind of people impact. or impacts that um you, you you know get from 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 people who appreciate your work uh, which is that one gig that changed your career um, I yeah. think um, the NEACP um, awards, awards um, which mm. was held, uh, held in LA, um, that was, is it last year? Or last, yeah, last year. Last year. Um, went for the awards and um, we had the likes of Rihanna being um, honored at the award. So, um, met all these big celebrities that you've been seeing on social media and um, TV and on movies. tv and black on hollywood movies. black hollywood so that award specifically honest black hollywood so when to do the official red carpet pictures for um, um Cuba awards so um at the end of the day we had the chance to beat um hollywood actor jamie fox so we went to his house that his residence did photo shoots with him and that news was like huge, it was like all over Africa, all over Ghana and also like the Ghanaian community in the States and everywhere in the world and that was very huge. Um, how did you come up with the name uh, Twins Blombeck? Ah, it's a funny story, um, we actually started this journey as musicians and Twins Blombeck was kind of like to be our stage name but what happened was that we we started doing demos and 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 recordings and we we used to go see producers and 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 artists to help us with that and nobody was paying attention to us and it was like we were going to people but nobody was taking us serious and it's we got to one producer and he said um certain um things which which really um got us to our lowest and 
we were like from today we're never begging anybody for any opportunity and we were looking for a, um, a very unique name for ourselves so we are like we are twins and we hate begging so why don't you call ourselves twins on beg and that name has really motivated us to really work hard and um, because calling us telling everybody that you don't beg that means you really have to work hard so that name was a statement to prove to everybody that with hard work you can achieve anything so that's um, the simplest meaning of our name twins on beg uh, who inspired you to Join photography. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say Bob Pizzo. Um, may his soul rest in peace. He died um, some few months ago from COVID due to COVID. Um, I think when we were back in the university, we had a friend who was doing an internship with him, and he always kept coming back to us, showing his works and telling us stories about Bob Pizzo. So we decided to um, do research about him, and he's an amazing photographer like a legend in Ghana. I think he is one of the pioneers of photograph photography in Ghana. So um, he's an icon. And we, we decided to always look at his work and try and mimic the same thing. So, but aside that, we motivate each other. Um, we drive each other to, 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 to be the best. So it's, um, we more like concentrate on ourselves apart from picking inspiration from all over the world we motivate um, each other to do um, what we do as creatives how has covid affected your career wow. <laughs> i mean we just after just last year when the whole world kind of like locked down we were built to cover um bt um 2020 right 2020, we had a lot of um, events um, outside Ghana. Um, I work with Miss Universe, um, so I do official photography for Miss Universe, um, Miss Universe Ghana, and Miss Universe in general. So, COVID has really affected um, um, creatives like us photographers because with photography, it's not like you can sit at your home and just do it on your laptop or online or, or any any other um, discipline you need a one-to-one -one contact with your subject or object so it, it really got a lot of photographers um you know paralyzed in a way because you had to um now you can't have physical contact with your clients and everyone was scared of the virus and and and, and in that mind and um, people were not in their um you know because you need you need the right frame of mind to wanting to take pictures and COVID kind of like mentally stressed the whole world so a lot of people were not really everybody was concentrating on surviving so nobody was really interested in really taking pictures everybody was just concentrating on really just surviving and um, the COVID so um, it kind of like decreased the the the, um, the amount of work that you get as a photographer so it's it's one part of um, and what affected um, we as photographers and also not uh, being able to travel not being able to um, accept bookings and even in lockdown situations you can't go anywhere you can't attend events um, yeah so it's physically and psychologically and mentally affected um, we as photographers anything special you've noted about kenya um oh. kenya <laughs> kenya kenya the nice weather the weather is nice it's really nice like when we got here um it was a bit cold and like i just told my brother like ghana needs to get this ghana yes. is hot ghana is hot gh ghana hot yeah ghana is hot <laughs> and um Kenya has tall buildings, very, very, yeah. very nice tall buildings. I mean, yeah, it's it's quite interesting. We have tall buildings in Ghana, but like Kenya has a lot. And, and driving around yesterday, I I felt Kenya has this is also really developed. And yeah, very developed. I, I mean, I saw some part of it that I couldn't even compare to um, US, like part of the states or even London. Yeah, yeah that's true. Like the the. Very, the landscapes very nice. and 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 it doesn't feel so much different 
um, from from Thailand and 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 and, and some parts of London. I don't know if that. we can call this like one of the most developed African countries. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, future collabs with Kenyans? Yeah, 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 we'd love to come um, to Kenya. Kenya has like very nice models. Um, where if you're talking about good models who can sell internationally, mm -hmm. you see their face, you see their height, you see their body structure, and you know that they are very good models in Kenya. And I think they are very, um, they are very successful Kenyan models, even doing a lot in London and US. So, um, would love to collaborate with the modeling industry, the fashion industry. We've met some few fashion um, brands and fashion designers, and they are very good with most of the things that they do. And again, also any other industry that would be willing to, um, yeah, especially with the us. music industry, because music. we also work with a lot of artists from Ghana, Nigeria, um, everywhere, uh, South Africa. So Kenya is also one part, um, East Africa is one part that we're also interested in. So even um, with the East, um, either they have the Kenyan Music Awards or anything, um, we're really looking forward to collaborate with a lot of people. That's, that's even part of the reason why we invested um, to come over here. Are you guys dating? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now you're talking like our mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, we 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 kind of like move around a lot, and and it makes that, that affect our relationship. Yeah, it makes us very very unstable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, are you planning to get someone from Kenya? Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> Kenya has beautiful girls. <laughs> yeah, Kenya has a lot of beautiful girls, and and yeah, we are looking forward to meet more people here. Okay. Um, you're already a big name, uh, so what's the future like for you? Well, the future is to um, be known as African photographer, yeah, emanating from Ghana, and not just based in Ghana or Africa, but also conquering the world with photography. So um, we're hoping the world will just open up so that we can do a lot of touring around most of the continent and and um, bring in photography to everybody so that's yeah. the future and the whole us. idea is to sell africa to the world yeah. and make them know how beautiful africa is because everyone um, that has gotten a chance to come to africa and um, now knows that africa is not um, we are not living on trees yeah. so the whole idea is to show the world um how beautiful africa is using photography okay um, what would be your advice to upcoming photographers yeah. in Africa? Well, um, I think they should really work on themselves. I mean, once you you have such great skills as a photographer, automatically the world will discover you because um, photography is based on recommendations and collaborations, and they should be ready to collaborate with almost everyone. Um, because you can't sell yourself, people sell you um, without you even having to ask them if you are such a great photographer. So first of all, work, do your homework as a photographer and become the best and do a lot of collaborations with everyone and that would put you on the map and easily get you discovered. And um, last thing, you need to be very fast with your work. Um, a lot of photographers are very lazy and example, Right after an event that we cover, we stay up late to make sure by morning the event pictures are out. We don't stress clients. We have a very good relationship yeah, with very clients. Good relationship with clients. Very good relationship. Because with bad clients. recommendation yeah. can really affect you. Really affect. You. So how fast you are with your edit as a photographer also puts you ahead. Example: You go for an event and there are about five photographers. At the end of the day. Everybody wakes up in the morning to find your work and automatically work out. And newspapers, blogs, and everybody, they're going to pick up your pictures. And when the other photographers release their pictures, it wouldn't really it become irrelevant. It will become irrelevant. So, so you have to be very fast as a photographer when it comes to your edits. And that's one secret to becoming a successful photographer. Uh, just last one. Uh, do you offer mentorship to Yeah, um, we've done some few masterclass in Ghana. Um, 
we also train students from University of Education Winneba. Every semester we have students from that university and even other universities in Ghana coming to do um, internship with us. Yeah. So and it's been like something that we have with that university every time they and take every take country students. that we've been to we've collaborated with at least some few photographers there to impact the little knowledge we 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 have. So that's also one strategy that we're using. Any Kenyan photographer that you guys know? Um, I've, I've been checking them out, but I don't have their names of head. But I've been speaking to a few um, photographers here to do one or two collaborations with them um, since we got here. Okay.